Hi, I'm Michelle Bro. I'm the Development Director of Events for the Center for Building Hope. I'm here at Gold Coast Distributing for Brides Against Breast Cancer's fundraiser called The Last Night Out. The Center for Building Hope is a place where people impacted by cancer can receive free programs and services, and our sister nonprofit is Brides Against Breast Cancer. Brides Ag Against Breast Cancer will be to 120 cities this year across the country. If you've already said I do and you'd like to donate your dress, visit us at www.bridesagainstbreastcancer.com and to learn more about the Center for Building Hope, helping people in Manatee and Sarasota County impacted by cancer, go to www.centerforbuildinghope.org. Well, we have quite a variety of different events. We have, uh, the next one coming up is on Thursday, July 18th here at Gold Coast Eagle, and it's called the Ultimate Tailgate Party. How many galas have the fellas been pulled out by their wives to have to go to and put on a monkey suit? We're doing a manly event ultimate tailgating party, cold beer and football and all those things. And I've been told there's women that like football too, so they're welcome. It's only gonna be $35 and it will include all the food and the beer you can drink. We do different events to introduce us to new sets of friends so that we can l help more people impacted by cancer. Our services, programs, and exercise, education, it's not just for the cancer patient, it's also for their family members and their caregivers as well. Well, I'd like them to know that 80 cents of every dollar that they spend in donations or tickets for tonight or any of our events goes directly back to help people impacted by cancer. So it's a win-win. All of our events are very fun. They're a big party and you're helping people impacted by cancer. So you really just can't lose either way. Just visit our website at www.centerforbuildinghope.org. It Works Global is a local company owned by Mark, Mark Pentecost. We are located on State Road 64. Um, we have health and wellness products and our flagship product is a body wrap that tightens, tones the, and firms the skin in 45 minutes. Um, we have green stuff. Um, we have supplements that really helped my overall health and wellness. They were affordable. And I, I just love the company. I think health and wellness is where it's at. So that's also why I got involved in the Brides Against Breast Cancer. Um, my aunt is a breast cancer survivor, and it's a local company. And It Works is all about giving back and supporting local causes in our area. So I'm very blessed to be here. Thank you that we have affordable health and wellness products and that um, they work. We always joke, if the products didn't work, we would have had to change the company's name 12 years ago. But there's just a lot of excitement um, about, about the company right now with Mark building the new building in um, Palmetto. And I, I just, I love it. It's a great company. Um, well, I just recently got involved with them. I've known Ashley for a little bit and decided that I wanted to partner up with them. I like the fact that they're throughout the country and I, I just really like what they do. I think that the brides, um, the bridal gowns are gorgeous and it just, it makes sense to give back. We're, I'm very blessed so I like to bless others and we need to, we need to um, crush cancer. They can contact me at 941-587-7230 and my website is www.closetomagic.com. Hey Charles, um, cancer uh, killed most of the members of my family. It's near and dear to my heart. 
And uh, when these girls asked me to help them with this Brides for uh, Charity for the breast cancer, we said, hell yeah, we're, we're ready to do it. We're glad to do it. And we've got out here tonight. We're serving at our Budweiser Hospitality Center, Pink Bud Light, to show our support for uh, the ladies that are fighting breast cancer and the doctors fighting breast cancer. It's just a fun event. We do this the second year that we've done it. We're going to do it again next year. Well, our beer garden and our hospitality room uh, here that we're in tonight, I call it our big man and ladies cave over there. It's a huge bar. Um, we built this for the community. You know, if you go over to Europe and you go see uh, Bavarian breweries or wineries there, the, uh, the beer and the wine houses are centers and focal points of uh, culture and fun and charities. This hospitality and this conference center, Bud Hospitality and Conference Center, raised over $300,000 for charity last year in events like this. And we believe here that, you know, you build your community, you're going to build your business. And if you take care of what's ailing the people in your community, you're also going to build your business. Well, I, I think that uh, people should look at Fourth of July and say, hey, this is part of our uh, of, of Americana. I want them to take a look at the red, white, and blue packaging that we've got out there for Budweiser. It's part of our Folds of Honor um, program that we have every year. There's a cents per case. Last year, all the Bud that was uh, consumed nationwide, we donated $2.5 million to that uh, Folds of Honor program for our veterans and our troops. And I want everybody to remember that in Major League Baseball, for every home run that's hit in Major League Baseball, we donate $100. And last year, we donated $50,000 uh, 50, because of the home runs that were hit in Major League Baseball, thanks to our great baseball, play baseball players. So with that, I want to say, mm -hmm. let's go have a pink Bud Light and enjoy the evening. Well, they're a big part of our fundraising program, and you know what, they're a lot of fun. The Brides Against Breast Cancer Organization is looking to take this event nationally to over 120 cities around the country. So it's really exciting, and Sarasota is really the laboratory for everything we do, um, and therefore the benefit of some of the things we do. But there's lots more happening at Brides Against Breast Cancer. I am delighted to, the, to uh, let you know today we announced uh, a new uh, national ambassador Margot Ray. Margot Ray is an accomplished singer, songwriter, billboard chart uh, hit. All her information's on her website. She's also in uh, just a few, a couple short months, um, going to marry Ron Tater Salad White, the the comedian, one of the highest grossing comedians in the country. And I know most people know Ron. Both uh, Margot and Ron were down uh, to visit us and get to know us over the last uh, few months, and uh, they're just fabulous. Fabulous people. Margot has, has her second battle with cancer currently. She's just uh, finishing up chemo and about to head into her radiation therapy. And she still has incredible amounts of energy and passion and is so committed to this cause. She's just going to do a fabulous job. But you know, that's not all. We have um, at the Center for Building Hope and Brides Against Breast Cancer a whole bunch of more news and more exciting announcements coming over the next few weeks and months. More celebrities, more galas, more stuff. It's going to be a real good year for uh, everybody involved. Well, frankly, no one should have to face cancer alone, and, and a cancer diagnosis often makes people feel isolated and alone. And we, we, we fill that void. We really are a community. And we do a great job in Sarasota Manatee, and we really have that market covered. But, but that need is, is countrywide. And, and our, our new initiative, with a new network for Building Hope, is to take that program across the country and do that in every market in the U.S. so that no one in the entire country has to face cancer alone. Well, first of all, um, you know, Amy was the, our, the events director initially at the Center for Building Hope, and, and she actually identified the Brides Against Breast Cancer opportunity. Uh, we got on side real quickly, got the organization going. Amy, Jenny Alday, and their entire team of girls have so much energy, passion, and commitment, they just can't not be successful. They also have a lot of fun. 
a visit to their office, to the warehouse, to the bride's boutique. Honestly, you come out of there energized and, and feeling like you can uh, do just about anything. And frankly, they are doing just about everything. Um, either bridesagainstbreastcancer.org or the Center for Building Hope.org. All the information is on both websites. Okay, well, I'm Jenny Alday with Brides Against Breast Cancer. I'm our community outreach director, and we're here helping those impacted by cancer. We're all dressed really, really tacky, having a lot of fun. We're gonna break down some moves, and we're sipping pink beer. Events like this are important, number one, for fundraising, and number two, it really gets out to the community and everyone gets to learn more about Brides Against Breast Cancer and our parent company, the Center for Building Hope, which provides free support services to anybody impacted by cancer, male, female, prostate, breast cancer. Uh, my new husband's mother uh, had a bone marrow transplant a year and a half ago, and Linda actually joins our watercolor classes on Monday at the center. So this organization touches my heart more than one way. Well, the funds that are raised at this event and through our nationwide tour help those impacted by cancer by providing free support, whether it's a fitness class, an art class, horticulture, nutrition classes, and support those that you know have been impacted by cancer, whether it's male or female, and the support that they need. It's a roller coaster having cancer. So you need that free support, whether you're a family member, a caregiver, or the patient. So when we get signed on a city, say we're gonna do a show in Orlando, Florida, our team will look for a local coordinator, whether it's a wedding professional or someone really, really connected to the community to help us with getting vendors, sponsors, recruiting volunteers. We need on average 75 to 150 volunteers per show to make it happen. So I always tell volunteers that love watching Say Yes to the Dress, if you love it, come join our show because that's what we do. It's a lot of fun. We cheer for the brides when they say yes. We bring them out into the ballroom. We get their picture taken. The DJ announces that they found their dress. So we really offer the ultimate bridal experience to anybody in the market looking for that perfect dress. Okay, so well, as far as Sarasota is concerned, we have our bridal boutique in Lakewood Ranch next to the Lucky Pelican. We take bridal appointments in there Tuesday through Saturday, and we offer the bride champagne, strawberries, give them that wonderful shopping experience. And then we also have a show this July at Brides Against Breast Cancer's Nationwide Tour being hosted at Southgate, which is at Westfield Plaza. Um, if you'd like to give hope today, you can join our Facebook page, like us. We put prevention detection tips, updates on the tour, and some of the brides that donate their dress will appear on our Facebook page, or you can visit our website at bridesabc.org. Hi, we're here with Lauren Dorsett from ABC7. She's a local anchor woman and an amazing advocate for Center for Building Hope and Brides Against Breast Cancer. So thank you so much for helping us out here tonight and celebrating last night out. And tell us about your connection to the mission and the cause. Well, first, I just want to thank you, Amy and Brides Against Breast Cancer, for allowing me to be here in Celebrity Bar 10, even in this tacky attire tonight. You look um, but I, I think it's really, really important that you know the community rallies behind people who are suffering from cancer, and we all know somebody who's touched by cancer. And breast cancer is something obviously that um, we hear a lot about, and it's really important that we just all get out there and support the cause. A lot of great people are showing up tonight, and. Um, tipping the bartenders appropriately so that we can um, do more good. We've come a long way, but we still got a long way to go. So We thank you so much for your support. You know, as you said, one in four women will get diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, so it's vitally important to, you know, provide outreach, education, and information to people that are struggling. So thank you so much, Lauren, and all the other amazing local celebrity bartenders for their participation. Thanks, Amy. My name is Christy Quarles. I'm the Director of Marketing and Public Affairs for Hooters of South Florida. I'm here with Taylor, Unique, and Kendall, Hooters Calendar Girl 2013. Um, we chose to get involved with Brides Against Breast Cancer because 80% of their donated funds will stay right here in Sarasota County, which is unbelievably important to us being that we are from right here in Sarasota. Sure, we were contacted um, by Jenny Alday, director of Brides Against Breast Cancer. She was aware of our philanthropic fundraising that we've been doing for Moffitt Cancer Research. We had pledged $2 million to Moffitt Cancer, which is based in Tampa, Florida. And we felt that it would be a, a nice tie to bring our Hooters girls out here, use their selling power to raise money at the silent auction and the raffle ticket sales. 
Hence, they're decked out in their wedding veils tonight and selling calendars and serving beer. Hooters employs a lot of young women and breast cancer does affect young women and we believe in early prevention and that's why Brides Against Breast Cancer really seem like a natural fit for the Hooters family right here in Sarasota, Florida. For those that want to find out a little bit more about Hooters and the Hooters calendar, you can visit HootersFlorida.com, Hooters.com, and HootersCalendar.com. We are, we have hot chicken wings and our brand new blackened spinach salad. Of all the guests that are here tonight, I really want them to take away that every penny, that every dollar that they spend right here at the Brides Against Breast Cancer, Brides Last Night Out, 80 cents of every dollar is going to stay right here in Sarasota County at the Building Hope Foundation. It's the ultimate in fun, entertainment, a good cause. I mean, Brides Against Breast Cancer is supporting basically the Center for Building Hope, which is a free community uh, for individuals, anybody affected by cancer, be it support people, um, the actual patients, family. And what this organization actually does, it gives 100% of the donations from recycled dresses back to the group. So you're helping moms, you're helping daughters, you're helping grandmothers. And today we're at basically a celebrity bartending event where not only are you having some fun, but also helping some people. And when you combine the two of those, you can't go wrong. I think the key points are early detection. You know, there's a lot of stuff in the news right now about whether mammograms save lives. Let me tell you, as a radiation oncologist, they save lives. Basically, what you want to do is you want to start your mammograms at age 40, at least every two years at a minimum. By age 50, every year. If you have a family history, you basically want to start at the age of 35. Uh, self breast exams are very important as well. Know your body. You know, if you feel something is different, then you know something to uh, tell the patient or tell your physician about. It lets me know that what I already know, that the Sarasota Brains community, Manatee County, Sarasota County, is amazing. They come out in droves to support those that need the help. They like to have a good time, which is never a bad point, and we can do it all at the same time. Well, I think some of the best websites, honestly, are the American Cancer Society website, the National Institutes of Health website, you know, some of your local branches here in Sarasota. Um, we have American Cancer Society place, more importantly, the Center for Building Hope has a website, as well as a location where we can get information about Brides Against Breast Cancer and all the other um, wonderful, wonderful events and uh, support causes that uh, the organization has. Well, basically, my upcoming show, Healthy and Fit with Dr. Fitch. Basically, you need to come out and watch us because we're going to be talking about everything. We're going to be talking about uh, exercise, diet, um, prevention studies, anything to keep you healthy, get you healthy, and make you fit. My name is Barb McSweeney, and I'm a jewelry designer based here in Sarasota, Florida. What we have going on tonight, to answer your question, is that, that I'm part of the uh, Brides Against Breast Cancer show to raise awareness for, um, for their group. I'm, uh, like I said, a jewelry designer. Everything I do is one of a kind, all freshwater pearls and other gemstones. And outside of the retail luxury trunk shows that I present locally, I do these shows to raise money for nonprofits. Um, and I usually give a goodly portion of the proceeds uh, because I believe in helping, helping my community. Good evening, we're here tonight at the Brides Against Breast Cancer uh, charity event, and we're from Trish McAvoy. I am Annie Hughes, and this is Tara Mays. We are regional makeup artists for Trish McAvoy Cosmetics, which are a full line of skincare, fragrance, and of course, beauty, power of makeup. Um, Trish McAvoy is generous as that she is going to be giving 10% of any of the proceeds of tonight to Brides Against Breast Cancer. So we'd love everyone to come by and just see what Trish has to offer and empower herself. Hi there, I am Lisa Marie Heinz, proud director with Mary Kay, and I am here to present to you from Brides Against Breast Cancer, a wonderful event that we're doing here tonight. I'm with Mary Kay, a company that supports this event because we too love to support women women who suffer from things like breast cancer. I am here with this table at this event so that we can support you to know that you are not alone. Thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Lauren Dorsett with ABC7. Please support Brides Against Breast Cancer.